Hello, okay, you beautiful gods, goddesses, creators, beautiful auras, all of that. I feel y'all positive energy and I'm sending nothing but peace, love, and bliss back at you. Welcome back to my channel, Becoming Wise Galarelle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Benivide, benivide, benivide. All right, you guys. So as you can see on the title, I had to come out the closet. Or as some people might say, you know, they say come out the, come out the, I don't know, different types of closets. But I came out the, the, uh, the uh witchy closet or the spiritual closet or whatever you want to call it you know i don't like titles i just came out the closet point blank period <laughs> i came out the closet because my um intuition is getting stronger my uh gifts are getting stronger gift skills whatever you want to label it but they're getting stronger <laughs> and i'm loving every step of this journey honey okay okay so i had to tell some of my family members, well, I knew that are Jehovah's Witnesses, right? Um, since I started the journey, like I said, if you have not watched my welcome video, I have mentioned on there that I've only been on this journey for about a year or so, give or take. And but I started getting more and deeper and deeper into it, I should say, about three, four months ago because I started to increase my um meditation i started to focus more and the gifts the um my intuition and everything that i had when i was a child became reactivated so now i'm back on point boo i'm back in the house boo and i'm creating i'm manifesting stuff nobody can stop me now and so anybody who does i i i'm protected get out of here we don't want that negativity here stage left please or is this stage left on the camera i don't know anyway so like i was saying this video is pretty much to help those who are also on their journey as well um regardless if you have some type of ability or not you know at the end of the day a lot of pe people look down on the spirituality world because they think it's hoodoo they think it's voodoo they think it's demonic this that and the third whatever you may think i don't care you don't care either right otherwise you wouldn't be here and the whole point is life is you have to do you you have to do what makes you happy as long as you're not out here doing anything mean or evil minded towards other people do you boo do you and that's what um that's the whole purpose of my video and that's why i i um had to tell my family that are jehovah's witnesses that hey i used to be able to do this that and the third when i was a kid and i'm getting back into it and this is me 100 percent me unapologetically me and bye deuces not to sound cold-hearted but i mean it is what it is you know i respect your beliefs and, and you believe what you believe in you stand by what you stand by and i'm standing by what i stand by because i know the truth because honey i'm connected <laughs> straight connected can't nobody tell me if ands or buts or say anything otherwise than that you know so anyway for those of you who are on your journey, um, I just wanted to let you all know, don't get deterred. Don't let nobody demean you. Um, you got this. You know, stand strong in your power, your self-empowerment, regardless of it, regardless, even if you're not on this journey. You know, just stand 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 ten toes down in your self-empowerment. Know you. And that's what really um spirituality is all about learning yourself connecting to your higher self learning yourself and so you can live the best possible life that you can live so back to what i was saying so i told my family um because i was ranting sorry <laughs> i had to get that out because man this world and family especially family and friends them you know it they come from a loving place no 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 doubt you know, hopefully, you know, I know mine's did that are Jehovah's Witnesses, but at the end of the day, 
you go do you because I'm going to do me, honey. Okay, so anyway, so recently, a couple of weeks ago, I sent out a text, a, a group text to everyone. Um, and I was letting them know that, hey, you know, when I was a kid, I had psychic abilities. And it went dormant for various reasons. Um, and I never told anyone because I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness myself. I stopped going to the hall when I was about 15 or 16 because I had a lot of questions and the elders there was not answering my questions. Like they would answer my question, but not give me an answer. Like, for example, everyone knows that Jehovah's Witnesses do not celebrate their birthdays. And so when I got old, a teenager, became a teenager, I was like, well, why can't we celebrate our birthdays? Why can't we celebrate the fact that God blessed us with another year of life? I'm healthy. I have, you know, my family's healthy. No one passed away. And if anybody did, God bless them, you know. But I'm alive. I can't celebrate the fact that I'm alive. Like, I think God would want me to celebrate the fact that, because it, it's also celebrating him in my eyes, you know, but to each his own. I don't know. You know, there's no right or wrong in what you do, because once again, what you believe in is what you believe in. And what I believe in is uh, is what I believe in. And I'm definitely open up to a constructive conversation on that topic for anybody who wants to do, delve, dive deep <laughs> into it. But anyway, like I was saying, um, I sent out the text. I told them like, hey, I had psychic abilities. Um, they went dormant uh, a few months ago. Um, they were triggered, activated. And I told them that um, out of respect for people's beliefs um, and opinions, I wanted to let everyone know. So that way, those of you who did not want to keep riding with me, did not want and stuff, you know, I love you all. I wish you nothing the best. Nothing. I didn't mean to say nothing. Nothing. But the, I mean, I wish you all, I wish them all well, pretty much is what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get lost with words. So anyway, I wish them well. I told them I love them. I will always love them. And those are them, and those who will continue to have a relationship with me, you know, thank you. And I appreciate them. I love them even more. <laughs> no disrespect, but I mean, it is what it is. I love them even more because at the end of the day, I am still me. I'm still kind hearted or real, you know, so it shouldn't matter. You know, um, I'm not out here doing anything evil or bad. I'm not messing with anybody. I know how to stay in my lane. And so and I'm not disrespecting anybody on their beliefs. So therefore, respect me. That's what I that's what I ask for. I respect you. So please give me the same respect back. But at the same time, I also know in this world, people believe in what they believe in, especially when it comes to religion. So therefore, um, that was the main reason why I sent it out because I didn't want them to hear it through the grapevine. And then all of a sudden they'd be like, you were lying to me and stuff. And it just, especially those older Jehovah's Witnesses, those who grew up and been in it for years. I'll say that a lot of them is um, like a lot of them. I shouldn't say a lot of them because I don't know. I haven't been to the hall in so many years, but I know from when I used to go and from my family, they're very old school. They go by the old, old school, um, Jehovah's Witness ways where when you get this fellowship, they will not talk to you. They will cut you off because they cut my mama off. They haven't talked to my mom in years. My mom got remarried and stuff and they did not even come to her wedding. And it broke her heart. It broke her heart and stuff. It broke my heart too because that that's 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 a lot. You know, especially when you're close to them. So anyway, like I was saying, um, I had told them was, I had psychic abilities. I could talk to spirits. I could astral project. And I know a lot of people could do that. You know, some people. But the thing is this. You got to be, you got to protect yourself. Because if you don't, you don't know what you what you will encounter. And so, um, you got to protect yourself. But anyway, that was a little side note. But uh, I'm babbling. I don't mean to babble, y'all. I'm a little nervous. Cause this is my first video on here so 
So bear with me. I'll get it together. I hope y'all ride with me and stuff. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. But like I was saying, I had told to let you all know that no matter what it is you're going through in your life, at the end of the day, you're not hurting. If you're not hurting anybody, you're not hurting yourself, um, do you. You know, don't let anybody else deter you because my family that is Jehovah's Witnesses, um, one did, those that I do speak to on a regular basis or a semi-regular basis is three. I have about half my family is Jehovah's Witnesses as far as my aunts and uncles, but it's three main ones that I speak to um, the most often and stuff. So my one aunt that is a witness she didn't respond back at all. Okay. I kind of expected that. And I mean, not specifically from her, but just period. And then my other aunt, who I'm very, very close to, we talk every single day, almost at least through text and pretty much through text. She's really close to my kids. She's helped me out like, a lot with my kids. Um, I think she took it the hardest because she um, sent me a text and she said she wanted to do some research on it, but I already knew the tea. She can't talk to me because Jehovah's Witnesses, their part of their religion, their belief is that anybody who um, has psychic abilities is either possessed and is possessed with a demon or you are or doing um you're if you're not possessed and you're like you're doing demonic stuff because we as lowly human beings who have no power at all and we're just we're just the sinners we're sinners and stuff we can't have those type of abilities we can't we don't have the ability to connect with um the universe like that or or God or whatever you you know whatever you choose to call it per your belief but at the end of the day we don't have those abilities and we really do even just people who don't have those abilities they had those abilities when you ask God and you truly truly believe in God you truly truly believe in um the universe whatever you associate you know affiliate with I mean not associate but affiliate with if you truly, truly believe and you walking in faith and you know that you de are deserving, honey, you ask, you will receive. That's the motto I go back. I ask, I believe, and I receive all the time without hesitation and stuff. So anyway, like I was saying, my one aunt, she was like, oh, I got to look, look into it. So I'm like, okay, you know, I didn't think anything of it. She still was texting me for about another week and a half after I sent out the text. And then um, I finally asked her in a text. I said, quick question. Why are you still talking to me? Because um, it's kind of, long story short, I told her it's kind of, um, what's the word? Hypocrite? hypocritical something like that i don't know but something like that because of the simple fact that she's speaking with to me her um quote unquote um uh, <coughs> niece who is dealing with demons and things of that nature but yet you won't speak to my mom who is this fellowship just because she went and um, did, I'm not going to put my mom's business out there, but she did something according to Jehovah's Witness beliefs that was against, that brought shame to Jehovah. So therefore, in the organization, so therefore she's I got this fellowship and she's been this fellowship for years. She ain't on it. So anyway, um, like I said, she had got this fellowship. So it's kind of like, okay, well, if you're not going to speak to my mom, then you shouldn't be speaking to me either because and so and because first she tried to say something about oh well your mom got your mom got baptized and and that's pretty much why they don't speak to my mom and they still she still cares for my mom um she still love my mom she just she just can't speak to her because she knew the rules when she got had gotten baptized and so which I don't agree with but anyway that's a whole nother video. I'm going to get into that. That's a whole nother conversation. But um, 
anyway, I, like I said, you know, regardless if I'm baptized or not, at the end of the day, the belief is, is that I am either demonic or I'm dealing with demons. So therefore you, you can't speak to me. So, um, she was like, well, I'm still looking into it. Um, I'll get back with you. You know, I think she was like on another Saturday, you know, but about two to three hours after I sent that text, she finally sent me a text, um, saying, you know, um, long and so many words. This is not goodbye. Um, this is, I'll talk to you later because I had told her, um, in so many words, I'm jumping around a little bit. I'm sorry, but I had told her in between text messages of her saying goodbye, even though she said it's not goodbye, you know, and, but in between, cause she kept saying she wanted to share some information with me and my uncle who I'm semi close to and stuff. He also wanted to share some Jehovah's witness information with me. And I'm not on that because the, the, everything is all about, it's depressing and stuff. I'm not a sinner. I'm not a sinner. Even though, yes, in the Bible, it says we are born sinners. But at the end of the day, I'm still a good person and stuff. And I don't believe in like, oh, we're just lowly, lowly, lowly people, human beings. And we have to constantly prove ourselves to God. Because in the Bible, it also says that God is um love. God is love and he loves us. So that just don't add up to me. It just don't add up. I'm sorry. Sorry, it just don't add up. But anyway, not to get too religious on you all and talk about like religious topics or anything like that because to each his own. But um, yeah, I had told them in so many words um, separately uh, that I appreciate them wanting to share information with me. Um, but part of why I stopped going to the hall when I was 15 or 16 years old was because I did not agree with everything that they said a hundred percent. Um, it's a lot of things that majority of it I disagreed with or it didn't make sense. And when I went to go ask about, you know, the elders like, Hey, did ABCD, you know, they skipping from Z to A and stuff. And it's like, what? Like, like I'm not stupid now. You you did give me an answer, but you your answer didn't answer my it didn't it didn't answer my question, you know. So watch out for people like that because and stuff, that's another main point of my video because it's so easy because when it comes to family and friends and stuff, it's so easy to make you miss your opportunities of peace and development in your life. Things that you're supposed to do. Um, opportunities that you can stop yourself from but just because you're listening to other people. So don't get deterred out here. That's my whole video. I know I said that multiple times. But that was my whole point. I just wanted to let you all know to stay strong, whatever it is, even if it's not, you know, anything, uh, you're not on your spiritual journey. At the end of the day, do you do what makes you happy. Don't um worry about what everybody else think, because guess what? When opportunities come, Ain't nobody else going to be able to do it but you. And you're going to be the one that miss out. For example, if somebody came up to you and said, oh, you know, we have a chance for you to win um, win $100 and stuff. And it could be a legit place. And, but because your friend or family member told you, girl, that's a scheme and this, that, and the third, you missed out on your chance to win an extra hundred dollars that you know you needed. And you didn't listen to your, yourself. You know, you letting other people get in your head. So that's just my whole point. Stay strong. Stay um, true to yourself. You know, always send love and light to everybody regardless, uh, regardless because at the end of the day, um, Family and friends, they they mean well, but that doesn't mean their version and their ideology of love and wellness matches yours. 
So that's the end of my video. That's all I wanted to share with you all. As I always say, remember to tell yourself I am irrefutable because as above, so below, if you sending that positive energy out into the universe, trust and believe it will show up for you down here in the physical world. Peace, love and light bliss as well to you all. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs>